Hello, sweet friends. Welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Rebecca. In today's video, I will be decorating my entryway, my bench, and my console table. But before getting started, here is a look back at last year's entryway that I decorated for the summer. As much as I love those arches up there, I am a little tired. I'm going to take them down for just a little while, but I'm not going to get rid of them. I'll probably put them back up another season. But I did find this beautiful wall art at Hobby Lobby, and I hope that it's not going to be too small for this area. So I'm trying to size it up before I take all of the packaging off of it and see if I want to keep it or whether, you know, I want to take it back and find something larger. But it seems to be almost lined up with that farm charm sign below it. So I think I'm going to run with it. So I'm going to get this put up and do a little bit of decorating. And you have to let me know what you think, but I want it something different for the summer. That's definitely close enough for me, so let's move on to my next area. And over here, just above my hooks, I generally put a small picture, but I didn't want two pictures there on the wall. So I've had this small tobacco basket with a wreath on it, and I had it in my mud room, but I thought I would bring it out because I'm really going with a simple farmhouse feel for the summer. And then the little burlap bag that I had, I put some florals in it, and I added just a little white ironstone creamer there on the hook. Now I'm adding this blanket, and I wanted something a little light for the summer, but this is just a bit too white. I, after putting the pillow, and I found this pillow cover on amazon.com and I just love how it looks like that Chanel and it has little florals that look like daisies which reminds me of the summer but this one is a little bit heavier of a blanket and I'm still not a hundred percent sure that I like this yellowish color here it seems a little heavy for summer but I'm going to run with it for now, and then when I do my home tour, you can see if I change it all out. I just have a lantern sitting there in the corner. I had thrifted that from Goodwill, and I, and I was going to put that out on my porch, but that's as far as it's made it, right there in the corner by the door. But this is what I have for my area so far, and then I thought I would go ahead and add my live ivy plant here on the bench. I always like to leave a little sitting area there on the bench if somebody wants to sit there and put their shoes on or take their shoes off. And let's move on over to my console table. And I want to use something a little lighter on all this dark wood. This isn't a long spread, but just a short one just to lighten it up a bit. Again, I'm going to keep this at a farmhouse feel and I'm going to use my dough bowls. I've stacked them with some wood pieces in it, and I'll show you up close in just a moment. And then next, I want to go ahead and add my crock full of old rolling pins, and I, then I have this farmhouse tray that I got from Hobby Lobby many years ago, and I brought out all my old ball jars. I have an ironstone pitcher with some old silverware in it, and I just thought it would add to that farmhouse ambience here 
on my console table behind my sofa. Now this is really close to my dining room area also. So I just want to go ahead and continue with the farmhouse feel here on the console table. Now at the bottom, I went ahead and put this big heavy crock up there because I was struggling with it. But I have gathered all of my other crocs, large and small, to go down under here just to continue with that theme. I had some faux thistle plants that I got from Hobby Lobby several years ago, and I think those are summery, and I wanted to add those in that crock. Now, so that the one in the back doesn't get lost, I have a little riser that I got from Hobby Lobby as well. And I just add a few more crocs, and that's what I have done. I hope in some way I have inspired you all to decorate your summer home. And I'm just going to continue with the simple farmhouse feel throughout my home for this summer. Probably the 4th of July, I'll just add a few flags and a few other little simple things. But I hope that I inspired you in some way to decorate your own home.